I want to focus on how I broke the cycle of multi-generational poverty in my family. Now, this is not going to be some world-class financial advice. I'm not a financial planner, so I don't have those credentials. But this is something that's near and dear to me and I think is one of the best examples that I can share on how to break a cycle. So here's my cue. You cannot solve a problem with the same level of awareness that created it. Let that sink in for a minute. If you are not aware of what created this in the first place, you're not going to solve it. Trust me, you need to have a different level of awareness in order to create a solution for the problem. So speaking of my financial poverty, I started with asking my family questions about how we got to where we were. Now, I didn't start with the why questions. I just want to understand the narrative because there's a story behind it. It's not all economic. A lot of it is based on decisions that are made due to certain circumstances. And that, that's what perpetuates the poverty. Your poverty is just a byproduct of it. And I'll give you an example. You could take a person who doesn't understand how to manage their money well, meaning they're not a good steward of life. They're not a good steward of their time, talents, treasure, and temple. And I refer to the body as a temple. And you can give them all the resources to improve those areas of their life. But if they don't have the knowledge and the behavior to manage those resources, they're going to perpetuate the situation over and over again. Now to a, a greater degree because they have additional resources. So you get where I'm going. Uh, money management is... 80% behavior, 20% knowledge. So this is what I learned, okay? My family, they allowed the circumstances to dictate their financial journey. Now, I'm not being critical or harsh. I'm not saying that they did all these bad things. What I'm saying is that they never took the time to sit back and think, like, what is our goal? What's our family goal? What do I want to do? for generations to come, <laughs> right? Because the consequences of my decisions today, my behaviors and my knowledge, they're going to impact future generations. That's why the cycle was perpetuated. So when you think about your whole, you first have to change your level of awareness and say, what created this? Now don't be critical, don't be negative, don't start Focusing on flaws, please stop doing that if you're that type of person, okay? You're trying to help yourself. So this is the worst time to start, you know, reminiscing and ruminating on mistakes. This is the time where you, you are really doing a discovery about what created this. And you want to ask questions to understand this story, not questions that put people on the defense if other people are involved in the process, right? Because what you're trying to do is understand the problem, okay? You can either understand a problem, not understand a problem, or misunderstand a problem. And this is why information gathering is important because if you don't understand a problem, obviously you can't come up with a solution. If you misunderstand a problem, then you're using the information you receive incorrectly and that might make the situation worse, right? So you have to ask questions. You have to change your level of awareness. You have to be a detective, you have to seek information from people who are part of the problem. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to set a goal for yourself. So don't just say, I'm using my situation for example, I just want to disrupt the cycle of multi-generational poverty. That's not a goal, okay? A goal needs to be smart. You've heard this before. It needs to be time specific, it needs to be measurable, it needs to be achievable, you know, it needs to be realistic. Um, it needs to have a time to it. Like in the next 30 days, I'm going to learn how to overcome financial hardship or whatever the case may be. That's my first goal, right? I'm just, I just want to seek to understand, right? In your personal life, if, if it's a relationship, you, you know, I just want to understand why is this happening? This cycle, this pattern of behavior. Okay. Cause when you understand it, you know, you may just be reacting to some situation and you're not 
conscious of it. You can be unconsciously incompetent about certain things and your behavior is just following that same pattern. Okay. And then you learn, okay, I need to break the cycle. So I need information that will help me to change my behavior. Right. So you're not critical. You're not negative. Uh, you're not defensive. You're really trying to understand that problem. Right. Then you say to yourself, okay, I need to put together a plan. Now, listen, <laughs> like I told you, I'm not a financial guy. The first thing I did was went to an expert. I want to understand from an expert's perspective, like, how do you break this cycle? What do you do um, to make this better? And once you get that wisdom, you know what I'm going to say next. Listen, you need to execute. OK, you need to execute. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't have all the skills, all the resources, all the knowledge. Execution is not about being flawless. It's about being consistent, being faithful, staying on task. And sometimes it can be hard. In my case, you're talking about generations. I had the habit. I had this behavior that was perpetuating it. So I had to look at myself and say, what can I change? What do I need to do differently to, to make this better for myself? And then you know what I recognized? I couldn't do it by myself. I had to get what I call, you know, the C's, the four C's. I needed a, a counselor, a confidant. Um, I needed a... Uh, coach and a community. And those four C's comprise my team to help me to overcome this challenge because I couldn't do it by myself. You know what a coach and a counselor and a confidant will do, but let me tell you about your community. In your community, you need to have five types of people. You need to have an encourager, a risk taker, a builder, a comforter, and you need to have a challenger. Why is that important? Because each of those people, they play a different role depending on your mindset and your circumstances, right? Um, when you're sad, you're down, you're depressed, you need someone to comfort you, right? When you're not taking risks because you are fearful, you need a risk taker, someone who has taken risks to challenge you to say, hey, you gotta, you gotta bone up, you gotta, you gotta up your game. You need someone to challenge you when you are just, you know, settling for less. You are not really breaking that cycle to get you out of your comfort zone. You get my point, right? So you need that community. So, you know, you think about your life. Who are those people? Who who can you count on? Sometimes that person can be uh, your, your enemy. Sometimes the, the challenger can be someone who, who is not your fan. That's okay. Their, their opinion, their feedback, their critique, their information, their different perspective is what you need because when you are so close to the problem, you can't see the problem in the same way that your critic sees it. I hope this is helping you right now. If you are in a hole and how to lead yourself out of the hole, I let myself out of the hole. You know, at one point in time in my life, I was six figures in debt. Can you believe that? And that wasn't my family's fault. Okay, I can't blame it on them. I put myself in that situation. But see, I, I put myself in that situation because I was unconsciously incompetent and I was taking the same behaviors and knowledge that I learned from my family to create a bigger <laughs> price tag when it came to my debt. OK, and so now that cycle is disrupted. Now I'm on the other side trying to perpetuate generational wealth. And of course, as I shared with you, I have those four C's in my life. So. Listen, that's my cue to help you to lead yourself out of a hole. And I hope I added some value to your life. And if you have additional questions from me, you can always email me, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to coach you, share my wisdom. I'm Stephen Garner. Thank you for watching today. Take your cues from me. Go crush it.